Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkelzunkie, and welcome to day 7, the final day of the boss hunting week. And for today, we're going to be doing Hard Mode Zamorak God Wars Dungeon. Now, I kind of failed with the poll. I did not include any Hard Mode God Wars Dungeon monsters on the poll. So, if we went by just the top 7, if we, in the introduction video, when we were voting on the bosses that I was going to do this week, today would have been Rise the Six. But there's a couple reasons why I decided to do Hard, Mo hard Mode God Wars Dungeon instead. First of all, I really wanted to try to end off with a pet drop here. I have already passed the first threshold at God Wars Dungeon Zamorak, so the pet is only 1 in 500. It's not terribly rare from killing the hard mode version of this boss, because killing hard mode God Wars Dungeon, if you don't know, makes the pet drop rate five times more common, and that's the main reason people do it. Also, one of the main reasons why you'd probably watch some sort of series which goes over drops from PVM is you might want to know what you can expect to get from some of these bosses. And pretty much everyone knows what bosses like QBD drop, or even Rise of the Six drop. It's very commonly known, or even a boss like Virago, everyone knows it drops Seismix and the rest of the drop table is not all that great. But how many of you really know what hard mode God Wars Dungeons Amarok drops. I'm going to guess that unless you actually did this yourself to go for the pet, you probably don't know that much about the drop table because it's not widely known and people don't really go here other than to hunt for the pet. So I think it'd be a lot of fun to check out exactly how much money you can make here as well because it's not all about the pet drop. And let me tell you, it's actually pretty good money solo. I was really surprised how good the money is here. It's better than the regular Zamorak, or at least it was uh, when I was killing this boss. All right, so for my time spent here, I did one instance duo or one hour duo, and then I did five and a half instances solo. So I spent the vast majority of the time here solo, but I had one instance when the kills were slightly faster just because there were two people, so keep that in mind. We did get some drops. The first one was Zamorakian Spear, and then this one was solo. I believe there is one duo drop as well. So I did split everything duo, but like I have been doing for most of the series, all of the items I kept and I have in a tab, although I did give my friend half of the loot that we got during the trip. So I also got the Zamorakian Soulstone, and if you haven't done God Wars Dungeon hard mode, I'd highly recommend it. It's super easy solo, at least just to get the Soulstone, because then, as long as you're going on lengthy trips, you never have to kill Kel count again, and it's just awesome. No more killing spiritual mages. I personally love it. I have like 200 kills stored in my soul stone now because every single kill in hard mode counts for one kill of kill count that you do not have to get if you bring the soul stone to god wars dungeon along with you or if you're doing it in regular mode it does work in regular mode but you have to get five kills in regular mode for one charge in the soul stone so it's not quite as good if you want to have to not get casey with regular mode you have to stay for like three hour trips so you can do that or you can just do hard mode which is definitely a lot better for the pet chains so here's the entire loot and again this took me six and a half hours if you were to solo this entire time you could get this exact loot in about seven hours roughly so that means this is pretty good profit now, i did not get terribly lucky with drops i got four drops but none of them were some of the higher value drops like the gown or garb so that just goes to show this boss is about four mil profit an hour just soloing it and it's better than regular Zami, and it is admittedly a lot more effort, but you have a lot of chance to get that pet as well, which is one of the main reasons why a lot of people do Zami these days. So, of course, since the week is over now, it's time to price check everything. So, all the drops that I got over this entire week fit into three separate inventories, and I venture to guess before I started price checking everything that the week would probably add up to around 200 mil total profit. So, we'll see. We'll see how close I was to that. But the first inventory here is going to be 77 mil. That was a lot of money in Onyx Bolts. 27 mil in Onyx Bolts. I'm surprised that I got that many, but I guess a lot of bosses do drop them. The second inventory is going to be the crappiest inventory here. I'm not saying that 39 mil is crappy. That's still a pretty good amount of money, but compared to the higher standards, that the other two inventories are setting this inventory did not quite meet the bar but i did set a lot of grimy herbs in here and they're just not worth nearly as much money so lots and lots of herbs because you know lots of bosses drop them lots of seeds as well this is probably the most boring out of the three inventories nothing cool in here and then finally we have the inventory with all the cash splits in it and that's going to be 86 million really good amount of money there and that pushes the total profit of this weekend or at least the gross profit before cutting out supply cost to 204 mil, which means I probably had my bank value go up about 180 mil, although I didn't do the Calfly King on this account. I did that on my Iron Man account, so that's one thing to keep in mind. But overall, a really, really good amount of money made this week that I'm super happy with. 
So that's going to do it for the first boss hunting week on this channel, and I gotta say, I personally consider it to be a success. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys got some videos that you enjoyed seeing, you know, loot from bosses and stuff. Hopefully that was enjoyable, but anyway, it's time to go back to some sort of regular video schedule, and unfortunately my Iron Man account has really, really been neglected this week, so I gotta start working on that to get episode 40 out. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this week, and it's time to go back to normal, but it has been fun. I did make a lot of money. Unfortunately, no pet happens, but hopefully one will happen soon. Anyway, that's going to be all for me, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and farewell.